Que pasa mi gente? Welcome to another Eater Reacts. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as I did in the last video. I know, I need to take a shower. <laughs> but uh, we're doing another reaction video of another person who got recommended to me, which is Ren. But apparently, uh, his story goes, Ren uh, was a person that was misdiagnosed as schizophrenic and drugged for years, and is now recovering and blowing up. And a lot of stuff that uh, has happened to him is usually the influence or if not the subject matter of all the songs that he makes, which I'm really interested by because we love the trauma. This is a song called Money Game Part 3. There's no reason why I picked this one in comparison to other ones. It was just the first one on his YouTube channel and it was released a month ago. So let's listen to Ren, Money Game Part 3. A minor. It's in harmonic minor. That's what it was. A mm, harmonic minor. Oh, I, I didn't even realize that they have masks on top of his face. That's interesting. And why the rope? Uh, I'm confused. His hair is a mess. It's a pretty sh sharp suit. One years old and his first words were mine, mine, give me. Two years old he was walking, three years old walking quickly. Four years old he was running round the pavement of his city. Five years old and his daddy told him, listen here son, you gotta learn to be a man. A man he works for what he wants. Six years old and he's reading, writing, top of a bunch. And when he's seven, his regression made him shoot him number one. Eight years old and he's praised for unusual grades. Nine, his parents paid for private school to nurture the flame. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, he ascends and ascends. His daddy tells him, son, money is the means to end. Fourteen, solving complex mathematical equations of fifteen. IQ like a hundred and fifty, still elevated. Sixteen, he develops complex software code that detects weaknesses in cybersecurity protocols. Seventeen, and he sells his vision. Keep in the shack, not yet an adult, but he's practically a millionaire. At 18, and his daddy tells him, Now you're a man. This world don't give a damn about you, so take all that you can. 19, he turns a profit, stocks and shares, invest in product. 20, double down deposits. 21, his income rockets. 22, he learns Woo, to piano. an obstacle to wealth. He Chopin, like it. He no, I'm talking about it. 23, a life of luxury, crystal and cocaine. 24, he makes the fourth list. I'm applauding his name. 25, and his daddy tells him, Listen here, son, while you're sitting in that palace, that don't mean that you won. 26, a business shift, he switches business to arms. He's 27, dealing nuclear and shells in Iran. 28, inside the Senate, money bought him a seat. He's 29, a role of council in the president's suite. Now he's 30, his daddy says you're losing the race. You're just a servant to the king, not even in second place. 31, a big manoeuvre for his daddy's approval. Moving imports over borders from the exports out of Cuba. 32, I love how the piano switches styles. Every 30 seconds. Houses with powder and guns. 34 turf war with nobody to stop it. Blind eye from the polypo inside of his pocket.
35. He gets the call. I'm sorry, son. Here's your father. I had a heart attack. I'm sorry, he's gone. 36. Getting pissed off. Abusing his product. 37. Eyes glazed. This position demonic. 38. With a prostitute. A moment of passion. Heating up a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon. 39. Getting reckless and hungry for power. Daddy's words are still driving him to kill and devour. Makes a move against the cartel. In a strategy's floor. They retaliate and leave him in a hospital ward. A bullet buried in his vertebra. And one in his leg. The doctor sighs and says, I don't think you'll be warm. Walking again, fuck. Mm, excuse me, the wheelchair now? Interesting. What is happening? I don't understand any of this. Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy. He was 40, and he cursed the words, my, my, gimme. 41, he wasn't walking. 42, not walking quickly. 43, never running round the pavements of his city. 44, inside a palace with a mountain of gold. But those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves. Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold. Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls. Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free. Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more than you need. And his example is exaggerated versions of me. And it's a version of him. And it's a version of she. And it's a version of you. There's no escape in the blame. The way we live is part of city. Fuck for money and fame. Call the music. This isn't entertainment. This is real life. The way we live is lunacy, community, it declines. Hyperpolarized, always fighting, then we divide. Hmm. Truth is less important than the money that we design. Money's an invention. Politics from our invention. They all come from people's ideas. Did I mention? Borders an invention. Law and order fuel the tension. It leads to people killing each other. My solution. What is happening? Why is there... <laughs> Everything is subject to change. We could build utopias if individuals were taught to use their brains. But if we teach kids in schools to always be sheep and put themselves before the herd, if there's more money for me, then there's no future I see where the humans survive with parasites inside a petri dish with cannibal minds. Mold will grow upon the surface then consumes till it dies. And our fate could be the same without this story to the wise. Forty-five. Jimmy comes home out of the rain, soaking wet upon a wheelchair, drinking again. He is everything he wants. He is fortune and fame. He's a fortunate fool with an unfortunate fate. With a forty-five caliber aimed at his brain. Forty-five, a fitting number, cause his age is the same. Here's the words of his father. It's such a damn shame. And he presses on the trigger of a money game. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. Like, I was just so confused the whole time. I feel like it was just a very, very, very great piece of audio and visual depiction as to as to what was going on because like the, the obviously the lyrics were depicting a story that we were listening to right about little jimmy 
uh, growing up to being a success and then eventually him going after his father's acceptance but never getting it and then his father dies and then like basically his sole purpose of living is just like has ended at the age of 35 and then by the time he's 45 he's super depressed and like you know eventually uh, self deletes himself but um, it was just it was just it was an interesting story I mean, and that, that's basically what it was. I mean, like, I feel like the best pieces of music, such like this one, are just stories. Evoke a s specific thing that happens in real life or a depiction of an idea, uh, something that comes to an artist's creative vision and then uh, they have the capabilities of being able to demonstrate that in song or in a music video. And I feel like that's half of all musicians out there. But Ren, it seems like he does that in both facets, whether if you're just listening to it or watching the music video altogether. A collective message that is trying to be demonstrated as part of the title of the song, which is called Money Game, which is what usually happens, especially in, in these people's lives that have nothing going for them except for the pursuit of money. That was crazy. I don't know what else to say. Like, I was just kind of like shocked the whole time. I, I couldn't even say anything throughout the whole song, except for maybe the beginning because I was just perplexed as to what was happening. Um, I liked the music. It was just mainly an A harmonic minor, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I give it a 10 out of 10. Just musically and visually, it was just all entertaining. I was literally like, what's gonna happen next? What's gonna happen next? I thought he was gonna shoot the videographer and we were just gonna go down. And he was just like literally gonna keep talking over us. Like I thought, I thought that was that's how the video was going to end, but it didn't. Um, especially with the water and the and the people playing cello with the bags over their head, which is cyclical from the pianist, which was him towards the beginning. It's like little bits and pieces of everything just intertwined throughout the whole video, and then with the message given by the song leads to a very eclectic performance. Uh, that was awesome. I want to watch more. <laughs> uh, but if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn your bell notifications on because I put videos like this every single week and you don't want to miss them. And trust me, you don't want to make this little guy upset because this little guy is me. Um, but thank you to all the people who have come up to the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.